Okay, hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to convert your gate shark codes to NTR format so you can use them on your NTR CFWs. So um, first what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to this link here, so I'll put a link to it in the description. And then um, from there you're going to want to look through here, so um, you can use that if you really want to, otherwise you can go through and do it the way that I do it. So um, download these tools, so you're going to go into here, download DevKit Pro, install that make sure you've got that done then install this one as well and then once you're done you can come back here and we'll continue from there so once you've got all that downloaded you just want to scroll down to the bottom of this uh, post here and you're going to want to click download on the um, on this here so click that and it should download the file for you so I've already got it downloaded but what you'll do is I'll just pretty much show you open it up once it's done downloading open up a folder where you want to extract it to and I uh, pretty much just copied them both two files in straight into there and um, it'll go from there so just pretend that I don't have the rest of these files in here apart from the template and um, whatnot because you actually need this to uh, you know convert them into the, the right codes but anyway so yeah then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, make a new text file like so so just go new text document and then what you do is you get the name of the game ID that you want to make the plugin for so for me, I think this was for Pokemon Omega, no, Alpha Sapphire. So I'm pretty sure that's its code. So you just copy and paste it into there, and then you'll be done. Then what you want to do is you want to open it up. So you'll see, um, yeah, here you go, Alpha Sapphire. I have all this stuff here. And um, I downloaded this file from um, from this website here, Fort42. So if you, I'll copy and paste, and I'll show you the link. I'll put this into the description too. So just bear with me one moment. If you take a look over here, you have uh, plenty of codes for the game, so you can pretty much choose what you want. Click on it, say you want this one. Hold L and touch options icon in bottom screen. Okay, so you'll copy the code which is there, and then you'll have this here. So let's say I'll show you how to add one. So if you download one, it should usually be in this format. If not, um, I'll make sure I put this template in the description for you guys so you guys can copy it as well. But um, let's say you want to add a cheat to this. So we'll go all the way down to the bottom of this. There's a fair few codes. Um, start a new line. So, like so. So make sure you put the name in, or what it's going to do in brackets. So copy and put brackets here. Like these ones, the braces. You can use um, Notepad++ for this, it might be easier. But yeah, just put those in there, like that. Put a um, new line. Go in here, so it's got a spoiler, so we'll put that in in a second. But you want to copy the code, like that. Paste it right underneath. And I'll show you how to put spoilers. We'll just go back up to the top here. Because um, I've got a spoiler somewhere else in here. So it's so you can tell yourself how to use the cheat while you're in the game, you know. So at the end of it, you've got to put the curly braces like this like so, so I'll show you, we'll go back down to the bottom here, so we'll do curly braces now, like so, and now you can copy the instructions here, you can copy that icon thing as well, it probably won't pop up on the thing when it's done, um, you know, processing it, you, you might not even see it on the DS, it might just come up as like an empty box or something, we'll see what happens, we'll try it out, so go to control S and save it, close it, and we'll go back to the um, folder with the gate shark to NTR stuff. So let's say you're uh, done here and uh, you want to, you know, turn it into a plugin. So just pretend that the plugin folder doesn't exist. I'll even show you. We'll just delete that plugin folder. So yeah, as I was saying before, guys, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, uh, well, before you can do anything else, you're going to want to come here, right click on this and go properties. And what you're going to want to do is go to compatibility. Okay, so click in there. And then tick that box that says run as administrator because this will make things go smoother. I felt uh, I found out that the program doesn't run properly if I don't run it as administrator. And um, there's also another thing you need to do after you've downloaded everything. So um, if you haven't been able to change your path variable or the dev kit pro didn't do it for you when it downloaded, you have to go into there and do that yourself. So um, just pretty much 
yeah, go into your, you, you'll find out how to do it. There's um, it's very easy. Just Google how to change path variable, and you have to change it to um the directory for DevKit Pro. Okay. And anyways, we'll continue from here. So once you've got that set as administrator, you get the text file that you want after you've edited it. You highlight or you hold and drag it onto the exe file. And then it'll ask you for um, administrator rights, so just press OK. So this is what it'll look like when it's done, so you can put in your name or whatever you want to put in. So, And then it'll load from there. So once it's done, what you're going to want to do is press or hit enter, do so. Sometimes it takes a few tries to hit, anyways, they just make sure you close it. So then what will happen is the plugin will be output into the plugins folder. So what you're going to want to do is come here and rename it or make sure that you've got that name there. You know that that's what your um, your game should be called. You will know the it made the folder pretty much for you and you rename it to cheat.plugin. And now it's simple, all you do is you copy and paste that into um, the plugins folder under this name, which is your game ID for the game that you've, you're have you using. And you paste that into the um, plugins directory in uh, the root of your SD card and that's pretty much it, you're done. Um, if you have any more questions or you need any more support, don't um, hesitate to message me, feel free to comment. And um, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, alright? Peace guys.